Documentation is a passion of mine. I do quality assurance for several fire departments, over a thousand pre-hospital providers, over a thousand paramedics. And it's one of the most uh, interesting, sensitive, and flawed processes that we go through as far as documentation. The run sheet is basically your characterization of what happened to that patient, your patient at that moment in time. Documentation is the best risk management tool. Not only is it the documentation of the care that you provided to your patient at that moment in time accurately and completely, but God forbid, two years down the road, if there is a lawyer, or even right after a fatality, car accident or a shooting, your document, your run sheet will be looked at by several audiences. The medical examiner, law enforcement, your fire chief. So it has to be complete and accurate. Your best risk management tool is how you document, whether it's by hand, on paper, or using an electronic tool. The pen is mightier than the sword. The adage still stands. What is an ideal run sheet? An ideal run sheet starts with the environment you document in. One, if you can find a place where it's calm, where you can sit and collect your thoughts and actually document clearly all the elements of what a good run sheet should have. Subjective elements, what the patient tells you, what the chief complaint is coming from the patient. Objective elements, which is what your findings are. You're using your senses, your hands for palpation, your ears for auscultation, your eyes for inspection. Very important, that's the objective part of the documentation. Of course, your assessment. You're a trained, licensed pre-hospital provider. You're a paramedic or an EMT. You think this person has this kind of disease symptoms, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, asthma, congestive heart failure, or the patient is a trauma alert, penetrating trauma to the chest, or long bone fractures, humerus and femur. They laid their motorcycle down. So that's an objective assessment of what you see. And then what are you going to do about it? So you have the tentative diagnosis and you're going to start an intravenous line or give oxygen and or give epinephrine or subcutaneous epinephrine for somebody that's having an allergic reaction to a bee sting. You're going to be doing something. So your assessment, your plan, and then I'm going to add SOAP, Subjective, Objective Assessment and Plan. And I'm going to add R, SOPR, Reassessment, because you've done something. Started an IV, gave oxygen. Did the O2 sat go from 84% to 96%? What did your intervention do? Very, very important to do a reassessment and to document the results of your good health care. Your run sheet is very, very important. There are going to be several audiences looking at it. Maybe a medical examiner and his staff. Definitely the hospital staff, nursing staff, and physicians. Also, your peers, the Quality Assurance Committee. Law enforcement may actually be taking your run sheet as part of a court proceeding for a car accident or fatality, auto pedestrian. So, your document has to be complete, coherent, Grammar has to be correct, spelling has to be correct, and it has to tell a story. It has to be clear, crisp, concise, focused, and internally consistent. You cannot say things like, from the drop-down list, Glasgow Coma Score is 15, and then later in the document say, patient unresponsive. Internal inconsistencies are going to be the things that are going to destroy your credibility on the stand. Having done quality assurance for EMS run sheets for years, decades, the most common errors are internal inconsistencies. Drop down says Glasgow Coma score of 15, but you write down in the SOAP, subjective, objective, and assessment and plan, the patient is unresponsive. Internal inconsistencies. Check for those before you push the send button. Also, grammar errors, spelling errors run-on sentences, incomplete sentences, or spelling errors will destroy your credibility. You need to have a complete, accurate, well-written story of what happened to the patient and what you did to them 
and then how they responded to your treatment.